system. Before we begin following the path of sound, I want you to understand that sound waves are moving from the vibrating source. For example, uh, a person talking or a car that's driving past. Okay, these sound waves coming from the vibrating source is entering into our ear as horizontal waves. Okay. Now humans are able to hear sound with a vibration frequency of between 16 and 20,000 hertz. Okay, we must remember that. So, how are the waves entering into our ear? In horizontal waves. Now let's find out where does it go to. Right, now let's look at our slide. The purple lines running into the ear represent the sound waves, okay? Right, so what's happening? So the sound waves are going to be collected by the pinna and passed down the auditory canal. Now, the vibrations are going to reach the eardrum and the eardrum starts to vibrate, right? The eardrum is also known as the tympanic membrane. The eardrum vibrates according to the frequency of the sound waves. The vibrations are then transmitted into the ossicles which are inside the middle ear. The ossicles are the hammer, so the vibrations are first transmitted to the hammer. The hammer starts to vibrate, transmitting the vibration onto the anvil. The anvil starts to vibrate, transmitting the vibration to the stirrup. And the stirrup now starts to vibrate. The stirrup will then pass the vibrations through the oval window and into the inner ear. What happens to the oval window now? The oval window starts to vibrate and causes wave movements in the liquid of the perilymph. The wave movements are then transferred to the endolymph inside the cochlea. Now inside the cochlea, we have the organ of corti. Let's go take a look at the organ of corti. The hair cells of the organ of corti are the mechanoreceptors, okay? Now what's going to happen is they are going to brush or bend against the membranes, which converts the mechanical stimulus now of the sound waves into an impulse. The impulse is going to be passed down here through the cochlear nerve or the auditory nerve to the auditory center in the cerebral cortex of the brain. The sensation of sound is perceived and interpreted by the cerebral cortex. Excess vibrations are then passed out the round window to prevent sound pressure and echoes. That is the path of sound. Let's recap the path of sound. The sound waves are collected by the pinna, then passed down to the auditory canal. The vibrations then reach the eardrum. The eardrum starts to vibrate and the vibrations are transmitted to the three ossicles which are the hammer, anvil and stirrup. The stirrup passes the vibration through to the oval window. The oval window vibrates causing wave movements in the perilymph. The wave movements are transferred to the endolymph which is inside the cochlea. The hair cells of the organ of corti bend or brush against the membranes converting the mechanical stimulus of the sound wave into an impulse the impulse is passed through the auditory nerve into the auditory center in the cerebral cortex or cerebrum of the brain and the sensation of sound is perceived and interpreted excess vibrations are passed through the round window to prevent sound pressure and echoes